This channel is designed for adults viewing only and certain videos will contain rated M for mature video games, featuring realistic violence, gore and suggestive themes. If you are not an adult, do not view the content on this channel. Sit back and relax. It's time to take a wild trip to the past. Get ready for another exciting episode of Memory Lane. Right, here we are looking at a Nintendo Power Magazine. It looks like we have Banjo Kazooie on the uh, the cover right there. Now this particular magazine's June of 1998. Now right here on the top, we have some E3 news, some big news right there. The next wave of games, you'll be able to see that in this magazine right here. All right, let's uh, see if we can get this. Right here we got the N64 reviews. Roll Cup 98, Bio Freaks, and All Star Baseball. We have Banjo Kazooie right here. The address is covered up, so I don't want the address to be shown. It's actually not my address, but I choose not to actually show that. And uh, the Game Boy Camera, Fontography Studio. Okay, so we got a little bit of Game Boy Camera stuff in here. Let's turn the page. Let's see what we have here. Okay, let's uh, put this here. This is how does it feel to be the center of attention? Yeah, it's a confidential thing right here. And we have a uh, golden eye graphics right here. So you can turn this camera down a little bit so you guys can see it. As good as possible. And uh, basically, this is your subscription to Nintendo Power. So, if you have a friend that wants to subscribe to Nintendo Power, we'll get the uh, the cost right here. Or let's say if you bought this magazine in the store and you really want to get a Nintendo Power subscription, there you go. Thirty six issues for forty nine ninety five. That's how you get all your tips and tricks and all your gaming news for Nintendo. Alright, let's focus this camera here. Now this is your table of contents. Right away we have Banjo-Kazooie right there. And we have your All-Star Baseball 99, Bio Freaks, Forsaken 64. You got a whole line of different things right here. You got some E3 reports. It's gonna be interesting to look at that. All right, let's turn the page here. And uh, right away we got some awesome fan hand-drawn artwork. Always appears in Nintendo Powers. Okay, let's uh, zoom in right here. Looks like we have a uh, Mario illustration right there, and we have something else here. What is this? Let's see if we can get this camera focused. Some sort of uh, anime looking character right there. I'm not sure what, what that is. You guys can comment down below. And there we go. We got a Yoshi with his tongue hanging out. And over here, we got a Wario. I guess this was during the time that the Game Boy turned 10 years old. You can just imagine now the Game Boy is much older than that. Got a cool little illustration up there. We've got a nice illustration right here. I think that was it. Alright. Pretty cool stuff. I just gotta get this camera set right here and then we're gonna turn the page. Alright, there we go. Let's uh, see what other kind of cool stuff. And we got more illustrations right here we'll take a look at. Alright, it says the top 10 N64 games. Let's uh, see if we can take a look at what we have here.
So golden eye is number one, and then you have uh, 1080 degree snowboarding. WCW versus NWO World Tour, a really, really good game. And there you go, that's your top 10 N64 games for June of 98. And here we go, top 10 uh, Super Nintendo games of June of 98. You have uh, Legend of Zelda, Mario RPG, Donkey Kong Country 3, Donkey Kong Country 1 made the list, that's pretty cool. Final Fantasy 3, Donkey Kong Country 2, Chrono Trigger. Uh, Mario Kart, yeah, all that good stuff right there. And then you have the top five Game Boy. And this is your top five Game Boy stuff right here. And now down below here, this is your top ten most wanted stuff on the uh, N64. And uh. And most of these magazines back then that featured the N64, Zelda 64, and the Nintendo, the Nintendo 64 disc drive was always at the top of the list. So there you go, the, uh, this, the disc drive never came out over here in North America, as far as I know. It only released briefly in Japan. Now there you go, that's pretty cool. And we got some uh, fan art right here, what, what is that? You have Conkers, and uh, looks like you have uh, some Street Fighter action going on here. Pretty cool stuff. Alright, let's uh, get this camera right here. Alright, let's turn the page, and we have some Banjo Kazooie action going on here. Plenty of Banjo Kazooie stuff, all kinds of uh, treasures and all kinds of stuff right here. Got the Witch Layer. Basically, this is like a little miniature walkthrough. They always give that in Nintendo Powers, and this is probably like tons and tons of content on this game right here. Just inside this magazine that helps you play the game. So if you read this. And you really, really want to beat the game, or get somewhat further in the game, this is basically what you want to read right here. This is actually very helpful. Gives you an idea of what's going on inside this game. Look at it. Tons and tons of stuff. And then we have the World Cup 98. And for those of you who are soccer fans, there you go. We got some pretty cool stuff right here. Yes, yeah, so all the uh, country listings like Mexico, U.S., Iran. You got Brazil, Norway, Scotland, Croatia, Jamaica, Japan. All right, we have Mortal Kombat. Fight the arcade machine versus the fun machine. What is this all about? This type of stuff always intrigues me. Let's see what this is all about here. Yeah, look at that cool illustration right there. You have the uh, the arcade cabinet and the uh, N64 with the uh, N64 Nintendo TV. There's a Nintendo branded branded TV right there. And the controller is like beating the shit out of the cabinet right there. Look at that. The controller is like whoosh, punching it right in the face. Yeah, look at that. That's some badass stuff right there. And I guess this is a comparison between the, uh, the N64 and the uh, arcade machine. Pretty cool stuff. This is Mortal Kombat 4. I always loved when you look at these old magazines. You see like some crazy, like insane, like artwork, like this right here. That's pretty cool. And this basically gives you like a whole rundown on this game. I'm not sure if I have Mortal Kombat 4. I know I have it on uh, 
the Dreamcast. It's, it's called Mortal Kombat Gold on Dreamcast. All right, so we have some classified information here, some cheat codes. All right, so you guys have snowboard kids on the N64. There we go. Got some cheat codes right there for you. San Francisco Rush. This is a repeater. This always shows up in the magazines from back then. Star Fox 64. Yeah, we got some uh, WCW uh, versus NWO World Tour. What is that? The Evil Unmasked? What is this all about? I never knew you could do that. Apparently you can actually unmask your opponent. Did you, did you know you could do that in that game? I had no idea. That's interesting. See, just reading these magazines, you learn some new stuff. I had no idea you could actually do that. Alright. That is for uh, Top Gear Rally. Yeah, that WCW versus NWO World Tour trick. I never knew that you can rip your opponent's mask off. That is interesting. Okay, let's get this set up here and let's turn the page. There's probably going to be some more tips and tricks right here. We got Golden Eye Blitz. It's like some hidden places right here. And then Blitz, there you go. Let's see if we can get this locked right here. We have some NFL quarterback 98 stuff right here. We got Bio Freaks. Oh, yeah, look at that. Some crazy looking stuff right there. It's like a nightmare. What the hell? This is full 3D aerial fighting interactive arenas. Uh, on paper, this looks pretty awesome. I don't know if I have Bio Freaks or not. I don't think I do. Maybe I should get a copy of Bio Freaks and play it and see how it is. I mean, I never really played it too much. I mean, it looks pretty crazy looking. Have you guys ever played Bio Freaks before? Comment down below and uh, let me know if it's good or not. And there's tons and tons of uh, stuff on Bio Freaks here. They might have the actual review and score on BioFreaks at the end of the magazine, so we'll stay tuned for that. We'll see if it if it's back there. We have some All-Star Baseball 99. It's a lot of baseball games in this magazine. So if you guys are a fan of baseball, classic baseball games, here we go. Some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, look at that. All kinds of baseball stuff going on here. We have Forsaken 64. We got tons of uh, screenshots and all kinds of crazy stuff. And more screenshots. Look at that crazy looking vehicle right there. Some pretty cool stuff right there. And we got a magazine poster right here. What, what could this possibly be? You never know. What are we going to be seeing now? And we got a Stone Cold Steve Austin poster just random, completely random. And that is a cool surprise right there. That came out of nowhere. Coming soon to your Nintendo 64 from Acclaim WWF Warzone. I bet you when you uh, you're reading your Nintendo Power Magazine, you open that up and see that, that's actually pretty cool. That is really awesome. A Stone Cold Steve Austin poster. 
All right, let's zoom in here. Let's see if we can get this uh, poster closed back up. I'm going to choose to keep these posters right back where they are here. Now we got the guide to E398. All right, let's see what we got here. We got Zelda 64, some more uh, Zelda 64 stuff here. Let's see if we can zoom in and see all the screenshots. They might be beta screenshots, you never know. Yeah, look at that. Some pretty cool stuff. If you guys are into Zelda, playing Zelda, you would know for sure if these look like beta screenshots. Just let me know down below and uh Let's see here, we got more over here. Let's see if we can focus this camera. Alright, zoom this out here for a second. That Warzone poster was definitely really awesome. That, that came out of nowhere. Alright, so they're showing off Earthworm Gym 3D, Turok 2, pretty awesome game. I actually really enjoyed playing Turok 2 uh, split screen on the N64 back in the day. Just as much as GoldenEye, that was pretty fun. Load Runner 64, it's one game that I actually never played. Mission Impossible for the N64. Buck Rumble. Now Buck Rumble is apparently a pretty pretty good game. Yeah, you, know, you fly around as a bee. And uh, one of my friend Joe, he actually recently bought that game, and I, I never actually heard of it. But he mentioned it, and he said it's actually really good. We got Space Circus. Hey, well, what, is, what is this? We got uh, some Superman stuff going on here. What is going on here? Since the Man of Steel and Man of Shadows. Okay, so what is this? The hit list. You, these are the games that people are definitely trying to keep their eyes on. And that, that Superman game, you know how that turned out. And people only knew that they could time travel just a little bit into the future. You would avoid buying Superman on the N64. That game is pretty bad. All right, what do we got here? We got the uh, a golf game. We got Madden '99, NBA Jam '99. I never even, and I never actually knew that there was an NBA Jam '99. I'm gonna have to look that up. F Zero X. It's a very, very fast paced game on the N64. Got Top Gear Overdrive and got Wipeout 64. Some pretty cool stuff. Look at that. And then we got the Mini Mania. We got the, uh, all the handheld stuff. We got the Game Boy Color, the upcoming color stuff right there. And we got the uh, little Pokemon. Tamagotchi thing right there. Look at all the cool Pokemon stuff here. Let's, let's zoom in. I know some of you guys like Pokemon. Here we go. Got some cool old school Pokemon illustrations right here from the from the 90s. And check that out. Now what is this all about? The upcoming color. So this is probably around the time that the uh, Game Boy Color it's actually a brand new thing, and this is the hype of it right here. Like, it's not officially out yet, but the Game Boy Color is coming out, and they have a little feature in the magazine. Well, let's not forget it to look at this. This looks pretty cool up here. Got a Pikachu, Tamagotchi type deal going on here. 
So that's actually pretty cool to see. A little uh, piece on the Game Boy Color right there that's still not out yet. It's kind of hard to believe. I, mean, I have a Game Boy Color, two of them actually. Alright, and here we have World Grand Prix with many different screenshots and all kinds of stuff. And it's one of the uh, rare racing simulators that's on the uh, N64. The game is probably not rare at all, but that, that genre, actually, racing simulators, is not too common on the N64. You don't see that that often. And there you go. Right, let's get this page turned properly right here. And this is always a little piece in the uh, the magazine right here, the counselor's corner, where they give, uh, I guess, their opinions on various different games. We've got Bomberman 64, Yoshi Story. Final Fantasy Legends, and uh, I got James Bond 007 for the Game Boy, and the uh, reviews are coming up next, they're definitely coming up next, we've got a little bit of off-road challenge action right here, uh, that game actually looks pretty good graphically, it looks nice on the, the magazine anyways, and I don't know if I actually have that game or not, I have a ton of N64 games. And after looking at this magazine, it makes me want to buy a ton more of N64 games. And you look at that, that looks pretty awesome. We got Chopper Attack for the N64. And uh, that looks pretty cool as well. Some more chopper attack. All kinds of crazy stuff going on here. And we got a really awesome Kobe Bryant little uh, thing on the side right here. Look at this. This is pretty cool. So if you're definitely a Kobe Bryant fan. And unfortunately, he passed away, uh, was it, last year, I think. A couple years ago. Now this is a, one of those Nintendo Power contests. You can submit, and I believe it's a meet and greet with Kobe Bryant. And that is definitely a really, really cool to see. Now let's see what we have here. It's really, really awesome. Look at this. Courtside tickets to see Kobe Bryant play against the Seattle Sonics. This is a trip to Nintendo Headquarters. Now that is pretty awesome, look at that. An autographed Kobe Bryant basketball, yeah, that's pretty awesome. And a Kobe Bryant in NBA courtside. But the, you actually get the game, which is pretty cool. And uh, let's check that out, that's pretty awesome. It's a nice little uh, contest that Nintendo Power is doing. Alright. It's a nice little flashback to the past. Uh, Nintendo Power, Kobe Bryant, all that stuff. Kobe Bryant was a pretty awesome basketball player, one of the best of all time. And right here we have some Game Boy Color shenanigans. You have people that I guess might have submitted different things with their Game Boy Color, or not their Game Boy Color, the Game, the Game Boy Camera, that is. I actually have a Game Boy Camera laying around somewhere over here. And then you see that there's an old computer in the background, that looks like an old compact. Got a crazy person right there, and what, what is this, we got some crazy animation. And there was also games integrated into it right here. 
And uh, what is that? I got some trolls. Some more crazy Game Boy camera stuff up there. That that is insane. So the Game Boy camera, pretty interesting. Now we're doing more Game Boy camera stuff here. It looks like they're showing off various different cameras. I guess they're trying to really make this Game Boy camera worth buying. I mean, it's a that's what it looks like right there. It sticks out the top of the Game Boy. So if you guys have never never seen one of those before, that's it right there. And it looks like they're showing off various different cameras. Look at this. And uh, when a DVD player, look at that. That's pretty cool. A night vision binoculars. What is this? Another uh, video camera by Sharp. All kinds of cool stuff right there. Wait a minute. Did someone take a panoramic photo with the Game Boy camera? That can't be true. I, I don't know about that. Alright, let's go. Let's, yeah, let's let the uh, police try by for a second. We've got some international superstar soccer. Tons of sports games in this issue, just a lot of sports games. And there we go, we got some Game Boy Soccer action right there. And here we have the end, towards the end of the magazine. A bunch of random stuff. And these are your challenges. Let's see if you guys can perform any of these challenges right here. And that's a Game Boy challenge right there, so let's see if we can do that. Now we have a 1080 degree snowboarding challenge. And down below, let me know if you uh, if you did that challenge or not. All right, let's uh, see if we can. Ooh. Before we do that, look at that. That's pretty cool. This is basically like a, you can paint your own vehicles and stuff. Alright, still got a couple more pages here. Alright, let's look at the reviews. Banjo Kazooie got a 9.2. BioFreaks 7.8 uh, Off-Road Challenge 5.8 All-Star Baseball 99 8.1 World Cup 98 8.1 uh, These are Game Boy games up here so this All-Star Baseball got 6.9 Brain Drain 6.3 All right, what do we got next? We got International Superstar Soccer for the Game Boy, 7.1. Final Fantasy Adventures for Game Boy, 7.7. .7. I'm surprised that that scored so low. We got the uh, Game Boy camera, got an 8.3 for some reason. <laughs> it's a silly little gadget. All right, let's uh, turn the page here. All right, we got some cool looking WCW stuff right here. Got the Diamond Cutter by DDP. We got a, a, a Miyamoto article right here. Super Mario RPG 2 over here.
All right, what have we got here? We've got some uh, various different WCW screenshots and all kinds of stuff. Looks like a uh, Ric Flair's retirement fund. All yeah, right. Pretty cool stuff. It's always interesting to see uh, all the uh, the wrestling stuff that's inside these magazines. I'm a huge wrestling fan, so I love watching or seeing all the uh, random wrestling stuff in the classic sports stuff with Kobe Bryant. Pretty cool. And uh, we got some more stuff here. This is the pack play over on the edge, Bomberman Hero. Alright, what do we got here? Looks like we have some concept drawings of Lego racers. And then we have the Mario's New World. This is Mario RPG 2. Some cool little screenshots right there. Okay, let's turn the page. We got some some more random stuff here. Hawker's Pocket Tales. I actually never heard of that. It, it looks like a Zelda game with Hawkers. It looks like we have a racing game up here. What is this? Zoom out for a second. Okay, here's your future release forecast. Here we go. I'm gonna pan down here so you guys can see what we have here. And there we go. We got all those games coming out in the future. Now what is this, WCW NWO Live? Is that like an actual wrestling game? That must be Revenge. So I guess they might have called it Live. Before it was called Revenge, they must have called it Live, so... That's interesting, so going back here... This must be Revenge, like actual screenshots of uh, Revenge. Alright, what is this all about? So these might, these might be beta screenshots right here. Uh, a new wrestling game called uh, game WCW NWO Live. Yeah, that's it. That's gotta be Revenge. So you never know what you're going to see in these magazines. I never even knew that Revenge was known as WCW versus NWO Live. But there it is. And there we have a impossible mission. WWF Warzone screenshot. Banjo Kazooie, and then of course we got the F Zero. All kinds of crazy stuff here, and then we got what is this? The N64 gear. Look at all this stuff. Look at that. That draw right there. That's pretty cool. You can pack all those games in there. Carrying case. Magazines. Oh, that is pretty awesome. I would love to have that. Put all the Nintendo powers inside those uh, little inserts right there. That'd be pretty cool. Cool stuff. Alright, let's uh, zoom out here. And we reached the back of the magazine right here. There is a little bit of something right there in that magazine. Uh, we have a 
Nintendo Sports Advertisement right there in the back. And that would be the end of this magazine. Pretty cool stuff. Let me see if I can set up. Actual little thing right here. Let's see if we can zoom in here. So you guys can see a close up of the cover. I'm trying not to show the address. Okay, so we can probably. Oh, right there. All right, there we go. We got the Nintendo Power featuring some E3 news and some pretty cool stuff that has some awesome Stone Cold Steve Austin poster. And then you had the uh, some pretty cool Kobe Bryant stuff in there, and you had, I guess, the prototype of WCW Revenge. It was called WCW NWO Live, which I had no idea that was even a thing. Uh, pretty cool. Of course, he had some Banjo Kazooie stuff packed in there as well. So, yeah. Let me know what your favorite part of the magazine is and comment down below. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for more Classic Gaming Magazines.